Hey guys, today's video is gonna be a little bit different because I wanna show you a new product that I just came across and I think it's really cool. Uh, come on up here and take a look. Uh, this is called the shock watch. Now, what happens, uh, this, when I pack up a gun, and I'm gonna do that in a minute, when you pack up a gun, you peel this off and stick it to the box. So that stays with the box. If the box has been abused, as in thrown down a flight of steps or somehow uh, mishandled, this will turn red like that. So that's just a sample. We've actually not used it yet. So we're trying it out on, uh, we just wanted to show you this product because I think in theory it's really cool. We have all gotten boxes, well, we don't because our boxes are packed so well. Um, but you know, when you get a box that isn't packed well and you, you know, find uh, part of the gun sticking out or there's a big hole in the side of the box, you obviously stop the mailman or the UPS man. We're not gonna disparage any of them because the guys that we have are phenomenal. But if you see a package that's abused, you can immediately stop and say, hold on a minute, uh, this package has been uh, damaged. However, sometimes they're mishandled and we don't realize it until after the mailman has left. And so this is like a red flag. If I get, if I get a package and this has been turned red, then I need to stop my uh, delivery person. See, we didn't name a company that time. I'm gonna stop my delivery person and say, hold on a minute, time out. Uh, this thing has been abused, let's open it up, and there, therefore you have an eyewitness as you open it up that it was handled, um, that the package was damaged. Now, this is a gun channel, and so you guys are already thinking, oh crap, he's gonna show us how to mail packages. But first, let me show you a really, really cool gun. This one is actually almost like from a time machine because it's absolutely beautiful. It comes in a box, and the reason I picked this is because the boxes are the thing that often gets damaged. Uh, and this is also an instructional video on how to pack up your guns. We get people every, every day say, I wanna send you a gun, how do I pack it? This is a great instructional video, so we're gonna send this out a thousand times to different people. Uh, check, check this out inside. You can see the quality. This is still attached. This is attached, um, not broken off, that's unusual. Uh, notice the cutout here where the gun it's a four inch commercial Luger. Look at the uh, grips on that. Listen, oh, that would be right here. Listen to that. That's, <laughs> the diamonds are so sharp that it's, um, it's cutting into my uh, cloth gloves. And look at this, look at that screw. Look at this uh, magazine, the bottom of the magazine, the magazine itself. Absolutely perfect. If you wondered what a gun, a Luger looked like the day it left the factory, this would be it. This is what they look like the day they left the factory. Um, look at the straw color. Now this one happens to be in 30 caliber. We won't discriminate against 30 caliber. They have uh, inferiority complexes, uh, but we won't discriminate. We're gonna love it anyway. Um, and let's see, you can see here's the other side. One thing you always wanna look at is the grip straps. Look at, look at how dark and beautiful that is. I'm still getting, I'm getting pieces of cloth there and little splinters, that's how sharp it is. Other side, this thing is absolutely brand new. So of course this is a gun we don't wanna damage. There's actually a little note in here about who we got it from. Here's the little note inside the manual. Uh, by the way, this was made between the wars uh, so between World War I and World War II, it could have been uh, late 20s, early 30s. So there's the original manual. It is written in German. Um, and this is the note. This, uh, this gun belonged to William Brubaker, and it was basically sold to me uh, by his brother Amos. And it's uh, uh, signed, it looks like Chris, Charles Par uh, Parker or Chris Parker. Um, but the point of all this is here's a beautiful gun that I'm going to pack up. Okay, mailing guns. Uh, we always get these from the post office. You can order them for free. If you're doing a lot of guns, uh, you can get them by you know, a stack of them, a dozen of them, or you can just go to the post office and order one. This happens to be a medium flat rate. Now, whenever we do a gun in the box, we try to um, put the gun itself in a rug or some kind of cloth or just wrap it up in bubble wrap. So keep this separate. Because what we don't want, we don't want the gun inside the box rattling around and breaking the box. I then will take the box and put it in another box. And this is gonna be snug as a bug in a rug. Um, that stays, uh, that helps keep it nicely. And then we can put that 
lid on top. Then we take this box and we use packing materials. A lot of people use old newspapers, that's fine. Um, but anything to cushion the bottom. I put the gun in first. And then I'm going to put in the box itself. Um, now, um, I'm not going to fill in the edges, but what I'll do is uh, then take uh, uh, popcorn, those little popcorn balls. I'll, I'll actually go get them, put them all around the edges. I'll go get that before I finish this up. But then I close it up. This is actually a perfect fit. And then we kind of shake it to make sure nothing's rattling around in there. And uh, this, this is good and snug. I'm going to go get the uh, popcorn, put it around here. I'll be right back and we'll seal it up. Okay, I'm ready to tape it up. One other thing I wanted to mention is you can get these for free too. These are padded envelopes. We use these for accessories. But you can also, remember the gun uh, rug that I used? You can put a gun inside these. You can get these from the post office, wrap them up. I actually put them in here for extra padding. And so I put one more on top just to make sure it's completely, you know, if, uh, you want to get rid of all empty space so that, as I said, you don't want it to rattle around. Okay, excess space is gone. It won't rattle around. Uh, stick with me because this is going to be exciting. Some of you are already saying he's got to be kidding me. But I tape it up on both sides. All right, we've got it all taped. No rattle. And let's not use that one. We put your uh, mailing label on top. Now we're going to put this shock watch right here. They actually said put it in the, one of the corners, not in the middle. They said put it in one of the corners, so that's what we're going to do. Now, here comes the test. Ah, a little scary, but all I'm going to do is drop this, which is, you know, not that your male person would ever do that, but let's see if it uh, turns red. No big deal. No red. All right, let's get a little riskier. Come on, uh, we're gonna uh, try the steps. All right, we're gonna try this. It's still white. Here's the steps, here it comes. Well, that's a little concerning, even dropping down the steps, which I would assume our postal service or delivery service would not do, still didn't turn red. Hmm. Uh, let me ch uh, call Kurt, hold on. Hey, Kurt, come here a minute. I want to show you this new thing that we got. So check this out. Shock watch, it'll, uh, if it gets abused, it'll turn red. Hmm. Whoa, it turned red. It turned red. Oh, my gosh. All right, you guys, uh, do you know what day it is? It is April Fool's Day, and last year, I, I want to cut this short, because last year, I dug up Ava Braun's uh, ring in uh, Hitler's bunker, and it got so ridiculous. You can see me digging in the dirt right out back, and it got real ridiculous. People got so mad, they said they would never watch my channel again. They were calling me names, cursing at me. So, cut it off. It's April Fool's Day. I hope you guys have a great April Fool's Day. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to say, there is no gun in here. You probably figured that out. <laughs>